This is the Lenovo ThinkVision T24i-2L flat panel monitor. A modern display carefully crafted for comfort and productivity. And I'm going to be unboxing and setting it up as a dual display. The dimensions of the box are approximately 24 inches long, 16.5 inches broad and 6.5 inches high. I also have here the Lenovo ThinkPad USB-C dock Gen 2, which I intend to use in the setting up of a dual monitor setup. On the back side, the USB-C dock has two USB 2.0 connectors, two DisplayPort connectors, one HDMI connector and a USB-C connector for connecting to a computer. On the top, it has the power button. The front side has one USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 connector and an audio connector. The right side has a security lock while there are no ports on the left side. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. In the box, there is a power cable, a user guide, one display port cable, one USB-A to USB-B 3.1 cable, one monitor base, and one monitor stand. The monitor screen can be found at the bottom of the box. To connect the base to the stand, I lay the screen face down on a flat surface. Attaching the monitor base to a stand is a straightforward process. Connect the base to the stand with the longer part of the base facing the front of the stand. Go ahead and tighten the screw to attach the base to the stand. This is how it looks when attached. Align the two hooks at the top of the stand to the slots in the monitor screen and simply release the stand into place. The monitor has an adjustable height, as you can see here. It has the ability to swivel to an angle of 45 degrees on both sides. You can also tilt the display between minus 5 and 35 degrees to adjust your viewing angle. It is also possible to pivot the display 90 degrees to change it from landscape to portrait display modes. I feel the different display angle capabilities of this monitor are quite impressive. On the left side of the monitor are two USB ports and an audio jack. The connection ports are found under the display. Here we have two more USB-A ports one USB-B port, one VGA port, one HDMI port, and one display port. The power connection socket is also found in this area. I connect the display port cable and the power cable to the monitor. I also connect the power for the USB-C dock. I connect the other end of the display cable to the computer and I also connect my mouse and keyboard. This is the USB-C to USB-C cable which I'll be using to connect the dock to the computer. I soon discovered that my mini PC does not have a Thunderbolt USB-C port to serve as a display port, so I have decided to connect the monitors directly to my computer.
There are five buttons on the lower right side of the monitor. The first from the right is the power button to power your monitor on and off. The next button opens up the monitor settings. With the rest of the buttons, you can navigate up and down, left and right, through the settings to make a selection. Some of the available settings here are the monitor input signal, the language, the menu timeout, the menu position and transparency, display brightness, display contrast, and the preset color modes. You can also restore your monitor settings to factory defaults if you choose to. Taking a close look at this monitor, I feel it has quite a lot to offer. First of all, it is quite sturdy, well built and feels very durable. It has a display port, a HDMI port, a VGA port, as well as a good number of USB ports. It is also an iSafe certified monitor with natural low blue light technology. It is indeed a decent monitor for anyone looking for a good monitor to enhance their productivity. I believe you can still get them online on Amazon, eBay or Walmart. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. Like and share this video with others. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye for now.